Hello and welcome back. I got a Mini 6 keyboard case with a trackpad and a hinge that does something a little bit differently. Come, shout, shout, shout of the devil. <laughs> Like always, YouTube, it's VLD coming back with another video. I'm also hanging out with a little N right here. Say hi, little N. I'm like getting this off Amazon. I got this off Alibaba for about 30 bucks. It took about four to five weeks to get here. This is the only way I know how to get this is a Mini 6 trackpad with a case that's magnetic and with a lot of plastic. If you like my content, please buy me a coffee. Link in the description. Thank you, and have a good day. With this product itself, the actual backside of the case will fold down, and that's what holds up the case itself, is that, and the bottom of the uh, iPad case itself is magnetic. So it's not gonna go anywhere if you move it up and down. It's a hard plastic shell case. You can take off and use it as a regular case. There's magnets on the bottom of it that hold it to the actual case itself, as shown. All you have to do is just snap it in, you're good to go, and then just like that, it's you have an actual case itself with it. So it's kind of like a 3-in-1, you have your normal cutouts for your power, volume, and your charge, and also your speakers. It's a pretty snug fit, it's a not bad case. It will hold the Apple Pencil, but not with the sleeve itself, so... I was not actually expecting this. I was given stickers underneath the case itself. So anybody wants them, email me, I'll mail them to you. And then moving forward, the back of the case itself, if you fold it down, you have a hinge mechanism for that. You're not given raise awake with this. It kind of works, but it doesn't. And when you actually close the case without the keyboard on, you have a large gap, so I don't recommend that. There's some flux to this keyboard. It's just like every other Mini 6 keyboard case out there. It charges via micro USB, which is kind of a bad trade-off for me. I'm not a fan of that. It's held on via magnet to the case itself, and you're also given a small trackpad, which I was kind of curious about that. The type case is still my best case, in my opinion. The trackpad's a lot bigger. The keys are essentially the same size. They're It's about the same all the way around. But the keys are pretty much the same. They're a little bit loose and wobbly. But that's just the style of the keyboard cases for the Mini 6. It feels like they're a little bit more loose on the new case I'm reviewing right now and not the type case one. So that might be some good or bad. Typing experience is about the same, but it is given a bigger trackpad, which I do like. And just with this trackpad, it just seems it's like an aftermarket thing. They didn't really put any time or effort into it. Like one uh, finger, two finger gestures will work just fine. Clicking, dragging, scrolling, that's really about it. You, there's no uh, opening all your other apps, closing apps, or anything like that. So one finger gestures, just to move the mouse around, or two to scroll up or down, will work, or clicking, clicking or selecting left or right, because there are two buttons. You have the left one and the right one also. So you can click, and then you can also open up like options or settings with that, but just trying to navigate to other windows is not a really good experience, especially with this keyboard. Even trying to pull down the notification bar is hit or miss. Trying to scroll from page to page on your iPad home screen is kind of a workout, honestly. And with the type case one, in my opinion, it just, it's not that great, but it is better than this. With the type case one, you have three finger gesture support. You do have four for taking screenshots, but it just being bigger and then better overall. I prefer that one over this one, over this keyboard case. I'm not sure about the name about this one, but it's just better overall in my opinion. With a type case keyboard, you're able to do two or three, four finger gesture with a trackpad. Granted, the trackpad itself is not really the best experience. It is better than the current one on the left. Which if you wanna do one or two finger gestures, which that's perfectly fine, just for being such a small trackpad, I wouldn't recommend doing anything more. With the type case one, four finger gestures will take a screenshot. And compared to the caveat, which is the best one, 
which is the Trackpad 2 by Apple. Granted, it is about the size of an iPad mini, but it's just so fluid. It works just well. It's seamless. You have two, three, four finger gestures, scrolling, switching between apps. Granted, this is the first party with Apple themselves, so it's they will always have the better experience. So they're basically on top. And then type case is number two. And then this case right here is the third one. I actually don't know the name of it. There's not really a name given. So I'm just going to call it keyboard case. So moving on, we go with the next part. It's, it's pretty heavy. I do like the hinge mechanism in the back. The keyboard is just like any other keyboard I've reviewed in the past for the Mini 6. So it's cramped. It's going to be small. When you close it, it doesn't actually touch the screen. So that's good. It's... It'll work on a desk quite well. Students will like this, but it won't allow work on a lap. If you travel a lot, airplane, bus, car, not the best experience. It's meant for a tabletop. The trackpad is small. One or two finger gestures will be just fine. But overall, I'm just a fan of the type case. Just like it's more of a netbook style. You have USB type C, charging, bigger trackpad. It's backlit. It just is better in my opinion, but your mileage might vary. You might like this one better, but it's also heavier. I do like the USB Type-C. I wish that was more of a standard with all these keyboard cases, but it's whatever. With the type case, the hinge is kind of tight. This one, you can actually pull off, so that's a good thing in my book. But with the type case one, it's kind of stuck to the keyboard. You can't actually pull it off, so honestly, Different form factors, different needs. It depends up to the user. But with a type case, you can actually charge the Pencil 2 with an actual sleeve on. So in my opinion, I still think the type case is the best keyboard for the Mini 6. But there are new, better ones coming out all the time. So I'm your host, VLD, signing out.